Meghan Markle sure kept busy during her last days as a senior working royal in the UK. Just hours before Meghan and her hubby, Prince Harry attended the Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey alongside Prince William, Kate Middleton, Prince Charles and the Queen. The Duchess of Sussex, in her role as patron of Association of Commonwealth Universities, met with bright minds at Buckingham Palace to talk about tackling global issues. The 38-year-old royal spoke with a group of Commonwealth scholars about studying and researching important topics, such as, such as cleaning up plastic pollution in oceans, helping to build more sustainable cities, improving health outcomes for citizens, and supporting decent work and economic growth. For the private event, Meghan dazzled in a fitted navy cap sleeve dress that featured a neck scarf. The Duchess wore her hair in a ponytail and went for a more natural makeup look. Meghan took on the role of royal patron of the Association of Commonwealth Universities back in January 2019, succeeding Queen Elizabeth II, who had the role for 33 years. After the meeting at Buckingham Palace, Meghan and Harry attended their final joint event as senior working royals when they stepped out for Commonwealth Day. While Meghan and Harry did join the rest of the royal family for this year's Commonwealth services, the day looked a little different for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex than in years past. This year, Meghan and Harry were shown to their seats instead of joining in the Queen's procession at the start of the event. Last year, the couple awaited the Queen's arrival and walked through Westminster Abbey with their fellow senior royals. Meghan and Harry's official exit from formal royal duties begins March 31st, but don't expect them to leave the public eye completely. Following their bombshell January announcement to pursue financial independence in a more independent life, royal expert Melanie Bromley explained to Access Hollywood what could be in store for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and even weighed in on the possibility of Meghan running for office. Last year we saw that Prince Harry announced that he was doing a TV show with Oprah. I know that there have been other media opportunities offered to them that they have contemplated. I don't think it is beyond um, the possibility that they will actually do more stuff when it comes to having a voice and using their royalty to um, talk about issues but also make money from that, especially if it means that they can live a more normal life for a family. Could I see Meghan running for office? It's a, it, it's a, I would have said a week ago, absolutely not. But now? Now I think the opportunities for Meghan and Harry are endless. And especially if they make this move and just allow themselves to be exposed to lots of different people, lots of different possibilities as far as what they can do with their role now. I think it would be difficult. It would absolutely come with some criticism to have a political affiliation, right? The royal family are not allowed to be politically inclined. But who knows what might happen? And if not Meghan and Harry, maybe Archie. Like they are setting their son up to be somebody who is exposed to privilege and the power that comes with that, but also exposed to normal life as well.